Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Sheena. Welcome to Centrally Speaking, a program that opens up the conversation around important matters of economics and finance, matters that have an impact on your life. Thank you for joining us as we attempt to simplify economics and finance matters in a way that you can understand. So Sheena, this week we talk about financial stability. Yes. When I hear financial stability, me just say, boy, the financial system stable. Precisely, Anna. Mm -hmm. Financial stability is essentially the extent to which institutions and the market as a whole are able to operate in a normal manner, you know, especially when the conditions are less than ideal. Yeah, and as, a, as we've been learning, the Bank of Jamaica is responsible for financial system stability. Precisely. So, which in other words, is the normal provision of financial goods and services uh, that households and businesses can enjoy, both in good and bad times. Okay, Anna, but what I really want to know mm -hmm. is whether or not Jamaica is financially stable. Well, you're in for a treat today because today's program will answer that. Let us wait to hear from our special guest who will talk to us about financial system stability. But first, let's go in the streets. No, not really. If Jamaica was financially stable, then we would have such need people on the street, people hungry. No, I don't think Jamaica is financial stable. Based on the business that I do, for the past five to six years, I haven't cooked the big pot, just some small pot, and I used to make money. Jamaica financially stable? I think so, you know, because if the IMF gone way down and them not have no problem with that, and People are work, young people are working, and young people have to think about in these times, you know. Because right now, a young people time. If you should be here for the whole day, go on by the 25, the 21 bus stop, and the 82 bus stop, and see the amount of young people that are coming from work. It's unbelievable. After this quick message, we'll meet Dr. Wayne Robinson, Deputy Governor for Research and Economic Programming and Financial Stability at Bank of Jamaica. But first, a quick word from the bank. Welcome back to Centrally Speaking. Dr. Wayne Robinson is our very special guest today. He's the Deputy Governor with Responsibility for Research and Economic Programming and Financial Stability from Bank of Jamaica. Dr. Robinson, welcome to the program. Hi, Anna. Hi, hi Sheena. Thanks much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> so, Dr. Rob, I hear your colleagues call you Dr. Rob, so may I take it? Yes, <laughs> so, so, first off, um, kindly explain to, for our viewers what does the term financial stability mean and how does it impact the average person? Financial system stability exists when all the components, all the segments of the financial sector, that is the institutions, your banks, your insurance companies, the financial markets, mm -hmm. such as your stock market, um, the foreign exchange market, and the payment systems, which is really the architecture that allows you to do debit card transactions and credit card transactions. When all of these entities are sound, mm -hmm. and importantly, when they are able to withstand shocks. That is, they are able to function as normal, even in adverse circumstances. Why is this important for us, Dr. Rob? We like to save for a house, yes. um, for a car, mm -hmm. Um, we like to say for your pension, mm -hmm. for example. Right. And so we want to ensure that when we're ready for the money, the money is there. Yeah. And not only that, that the money grows over time. Point blank. Is Jamaica system, financial system, stable? That's a very good question. Anna. Yeah. And I'll respond likewise. <laughs> yes, it is. Point blank. Okay. Point, Point blank. blank. <laughs> <laughs> the, our financial system is sound and, right. and stable. Um, because a stable financial system is so important to economic growth and development, Bank of Jamaica, as well as the Financial Services Commission, which is responsible for the oversight of securities, securities dealers, insurance companies, and pension funds. We regularly, very frequently, assess the state of the financial system 
how sound the financial system is. And in that assessment, we also look for potential threats mm -hmm. and the ability of the system to manage um, these risks. And so far, our assessment consistently shows that our financial system is sound. Okay. Dr. Robinson, can you tell us about the legislations that surround financial stability? Okay. In October 2015, um, Parliament amended the Bank of Jamaica Act to give Bank of Jamaica responsibility for the stability of the entire system. Oh, okay. With the 2015 amendments, um, Bank of Jamaica now has a statutory authority to issue what we call prescriptive rules mm -hmm. and codes and standards to the entire system to ensure that it remains stable. It also, importantly, the amendments establish the Financial System Stability Committee. Okay. The Financial System Stability Committee, FSSC for short, is responsible for looking at assessments of the financial system. Um, assessments that focus on the soundness of the financial system, an assessment that looks for any potential systemic risk and how the system is managing um, such risk. The ex officio members are the Governor of the Bank of Jamaica, who chairs the committee, mm -hmm. the senior executive in the bank who is responsible for financial system stability, the deputy supervisor of banks, which is a deputy governor in charge of the financial institution supervisory division, okay. the executive director of the financial services commission, that is the agency responsible for supervising your pension funds and your insurance companies and your security dealers as well as the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Deposit Insurance. Um, the Financial Secretary also sits on the committee. And you may ask, well, why does the Financial Secretary sit on the committee? I was about to ask you. That's an important well, one. in the event that there's any systemic problems, um, it could require fiscal resources. And, and by systemic, you mean an, an issue that is affecting the, the entire, entire system. system. Oh, right. Not yeah. only commercial banks. Not only one right. institution or mm -hmm. two in institutions, right. but that is affecting the entire, entire. Mm -hmm. system. Right. And such conditions could require um, fiscal resources, mm -hmm. and therefore that's why the financial secretary um, sits on the committee. That was Deputy Governor Wayne Robinson of Bank of Jamaica, ensuring that the Bank of Jamaica's, or rather, that Jamaica's financial system is stable. Dr. Robinson, thank you for joining us today. Uh, it was my pleasure. <laughs> it's now time for the financial tip of the day. Did you know you can cash in old money no longer in circulation? Some coins and banknotes which have been withdrawn or demonetized may no longer be legal tender. But not to worry, Bank of Jamaica will accept them from you. So today's discussion was all about financial stability. Bet you never thought about it before. So let's recap the fast facts. Whew. Number one. Jamaica's financial institutions, its payment systems, and its financial markets are all stable, all resilient. They can withstand any shock. That's good news. Number two, such resilience facilitates the circulation of funds and provision of payment arrangements by financial institutions, thereby promoting economic activity. Number three, a stable financial system in which all the financial institutions are adhering to best practices is necessary to ensuring that your investments, your house, your stocks, your car, are all protected. Number four, Jamaica has in place sound legislative basis for promoting financial system stability and with that sound governance framework. Number five, the Financial System Stability Committee, FFSC for short, is tasked with a range of responsibilities including the assessment of systemic risks and managing recommendations to BOJ in relation to the execution of the bank's mandate of financial system stability. Well, that's the show this week, our Financially Stable, nice and financial stable show, Centrally Speaking. And of course, watch Centrally Speaking again right here on this station at the same time next week. I'm Anna. And I'm Shino. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Centrally Speaking is a production of Bank of Jamaica.